All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss, and I am very pleased to announce in this video that we have fig trees once again for sale on FigBid. For anyone that is interested and wants to buy some trees from me, wants to support me in the work that I've done over the years, or maybe you're relatively new and you wanna get yourself one of these really tasty figs that I recommend and I've talked about in so many, so many videos, then I would go down in the description of this video or any of the videos I do, and you'll find a link there to my store. It's a FigBid link where you can go to FigBid, create an account, you sign up, put in your email and your actual address. That's where I ship my, um, typically that's where I ship my plants to is the address that you guys have in that user, in that account that you guys create on FigBid. And then from there, uh, you have the ability to bid on the four trees that I currently have listed for sale. Of course, there'll be many more for sale in, in the future, um, I plan to be doing this sale all throughout the, the rest of the spring, the summer, and of course into the fall, all the way until probably the end of October, early November, where we will continue to ship these live fig trees that are awake, growing, have a number of different leaves on them, and we'll be shipped in these tree pots here, these four by nine, one gallon size pots that typically do really well. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a separate video in the future about you know, kind of uh, how to care for these things and what to do when you receive them in the mail. But there's a couple things that are really important is that someone really last year mentioned to me, Ross, that they, they bought a tree. They said, Ross, you know, the tree that you, I got from you just didn't grow. And they showed me a photo of it. And I was like, well, excuse me, sir. You didn't follow any of the instructions I gave you is that the tree was still in the original container. And that's kind of the idea is that we get them to a certain size that's established enough so that we can ship it in the mail. It's easy to ship, it's affordable to ship, uh, and these are well-established trees that typically are, are quite root-bound in these containers. And, and from this point though, they're not really meant to be spending much more time in these containers. So my advice to you guys is as soon as you get the tree, harden the trees off to your current conditions. And that's your sunlight, that's your humidity, um, it's been very humid here and it's also quite shady here. So you need to adjust the, the trees to those conditions. Uh, then of course, we need to water the trees really well. We need to feed the trees really well. And then we need to take this tree and put it into a larger container without any transplant shock, if you can stand it. And then of course, if you don't wanna grow them in containers, you can plant the tree in the ground. But again, that process of hardening the tree off, giving the tree water and feeding it, and a larger area to grow its root system in is absolutely critical. You will not see the success that you should unless you do those steps. And I will go into more detail as we go on throughout the season in a separate video of more of the things I think you guys should pay attention to. But those are the keys. Uh, I know some of you guys I wanna to touch on really quickly are not necessarily interested in auctions but that's what we're doing for right now. I know a number of you guys, there's such a demand, so I'm gonna offer it up to you guys to just see, uh, basically get, make it as fair as possible, and that's the person who's gonna win. Um, in the future though, it will become first come, first serve, and I will offer these trees at buy it now prices. But because of the higher demand, at least for the current moment, um, these trees will be uh, listed as auctions and it kind of works the same way as eBay for those of you guys who are unfamiliar with this whole process. I'm also at some point in the future planning to move some of the sales actually to my blog figboss.com but more on that to come in the future. Uh, we have four varieties at least listed right now one of which is actually one of a number of my favorites actually there is Azores Dark which we've talked a lot about here on the channel. It's a hardy Chicago type that on the west side of the property survive the winter and is doing exceptionally well. I should have a huge number of fruits this year off of that tree. Actually two trees survived of Azores Dark and uh, they're producing Braba and they should ripen their main crop actually by August 1st here in the Philadelphia area. I also have some Smith, a Smith tree for sale. We'll continue to sell a lot of Smith. It's really one of my favorite varieties for sure. And I was really surprised this year that a number, all three of my larger smith trees here that I have in 10 or 15 gallon size pots have brabus. And there's a number of brabus ripening right now. I'm just absolutely amazed by this. First off, I didn't think 
Smith would even ripen the Breba. Let me pick this one here for you guys. Doesn't look like actually a part of it has formed properly. And maybe I picked this a bit too soon. So strange, the coloration there, right? But this backside here, I don't think ripened correctly. Let's open it up. Yeah, so Brabas are a bit funky, but you can see this actually looks pretty good, uh, at least for the first fig of the year. And one of the first fruits of the year, actually. I've only harvested a couple strawberries and a couple honeyberries at this point. This is amazing that I'm even able to eat this with the help of my greenhouse. Mm. So it's missing some of that sweetness, but it's really nice, guys. You can tell, actually, the other half of the fig didn't ripen. So really interesting there. We'll continue to monitor these Smith Brabas, but definitely one of my favorite varieties for its main crop. <laughs> it is a nice bonus. Maybe this other one here. Let's try this. This one looks like the whole thing ripened properly. Again, I'm probably picking these too early, but for the sake of this video, I figured... Why not? Oh my goodness. So here's another one. This is a Smith Breba from uh, my Becknell Smith. This is an older, slightly older tree and maybe that's why it's producing better quality fruit right now. This looks like an actual fig. Oh my God. That's really good. Obviously, it still needs more time, but guys, it's been, it's been at least six months since I've had a, a ripe fig, and this is, uh, <laughs> it really just does remind you why you do this. Oh, man. Oh, it's actually really sweet. Not a ton of berry flavor, but nice and honey. Good sweetness from a Breba that you would expect. Um, Wow, so that's good. Okay, so um, trying to regroup here. Okay, the other two varieties I have for sale, other than Smith and Azores Dark, are the Daloso. Um, the Daloso, actually, I learned this winter, is one of four varieties that uh, is highly recommended from Belfiore Nursery in Italy for people in northern climates. And I had this tree in a container for years. I planted one in the ground over there. It's actually coming back really strongly this year. Finally, it's established, and last year it produced really high quality fruits that you could tell would be really good in a humid climate. And for particularly in Northern Italy, where it's a bit more humid and it's a bit colder in the winter, um, it's one of the best varieties according to Belfiore Nursery. And for me, I think it is definitely one of the best figs I grow. Um, the last one I have actually is the San Baggio, which is a super rare Italian fig. Um, really pleased because there it's just taken so long for me actually to be able to acquire that fig and to then ripen the fig i've talked about it for years i've wanted that variety for many years and uh it turns out actually it's a super early variety that produces a fig that tastes like cherries so it's really really special to me um in more than one way but uh so i'm very pleased because it's been such like a unicorn and it just a, you know a mystery uh to me but it's actually real and now i'm able to spread it around to you guys um and you know not have you guys sit through the same weight that i kind of had to go through so that's kind of it here guys um those are the four varieties we'll continue to list more of them and whatever is for sale will be listed there i'll update you guys on facebook and instagram on the blog and even sometimes on youtube when we have new trees and different varieties for sale. But your best bet is to keep checking FigBid or check uh, some other form of my social media that I just mentioned. Um, so anyway, guys, thank you so much here for all the support. And uh, you know, I really do hope that over the years, or maybe you guys are new and you're watching this thing, but I really try to help you guys save money and time and give you guys maybe a little bit of entertainment, you know? Um, but this is something that I think I can do for you guys to not just, you know, get a little bit of ad revenue and making a video, but to actually give you guys something in return that really is a great gift, in my opinion. This is a great thing. The amount of trees and things that I've been able to share with you guys and spread around the, uh, the country, I think, is, 
is just valuable to me. So I'm really happy and I hope that you guys see that value and um, you know appreciate all the videos and content and things that I do. Because uh, this, this was a lot of work, even just creating this, this tree here, even acquiring certain varieties. You know, it took me many years, like I said, with the, the San Baggio, even to just be able to grow something like that. So thank you guys again. I really do appreciate all the support. We'll see everybody soon. Take care.